Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you the easiest way how you can get XCAPTV application to your Amazon Fire Stick. Without any further ado, let's see how you can get it. Now, first of all, you have to get an app called Downloader to your device. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we'll go to search on our device. Here is the search bar. Click on it. Now start typing the loader right here in the search. As you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the downloader because it already popped out for us at the bottom. So click on the loader, and here is the application which you need to install to your device. However, that's not it. You still have to set it up. To do so, we'll go to settings. So let's go to settings. Then scroll down until you see My Fire TV. Open it. And then here you have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And now as you can see it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case, in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options which are going to appear right here. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and here we have to turn that option on for the loader. So what it does is going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from the official Amazon App Store, and that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Now let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is, and here we already got the downloader application. However, before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they got a great application for Fire Sticks or pretty much any device. They are super fast and not expensive. So what a VPN does, you just open the app, select any location, connect to a server, and from that moment on, nobody can track you online or snoop on you. And from the moment you connect, all your internet traffic is totally encrypted. Which means your internet provider doesn't know what apps you are using, what videos you are watching, or what you are downloading from the internet. And that's extremely important if you want to stay out of trouble online. And if you want to give a VPN a try, I do have a special offer for you. If you use my promo link, which will be in the pinned comment below this video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing deal. And this way you are also going to support my channel, as I will get a small affiliate commission. This is a great way to say thank you for all the work I put into creating those videos for you. And now, after we secured our internet connection, let's go to the loader. So we open the application, and here in that search bar we'll have to type a code. By the way, make sure to select Home on the left side menu, and not Browser. So select Home, and here we'll type a code, which is going to be 28907. So once again the code is 28907, and then you press on Go. And then in a couple of seconds a website is going to load. Then after your website opens, you have to scroll down a bit until you see a list of categories, and here's the one which we need to click on, the IPTV players. Then a big list of applications is going to open, but here's the one we're looking for, the XC IPTV player. So click on it. Now if any ad opens up for you here, make sure to click on close, because if you click on open, it's going to mess everything up for you. So click on close. Then a new web page is going to open, which you also have to scroll down and keep scrolling until you see those download buttons. Click on download, and now the download is going to start. Click on install in the right bottom corner, and after the app has finished installing, instead of clicking open, you have to press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we do not need it anymore. So click on delete, and delete once again. Now let's go to the list of apps on our device, here we go. And there's the XC IPTV player, which we just downloaded. I recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines, and then click on Move to Front. This way, the application is always going to be at the very top of your app list, and it will be easier for you to access the app. Now, of course, before streaming something online, to stay out of trouble, don't forget to use a VPN, and then let's open the application. Here you can enter your extreme code at the very top, then your username and password, however you can also alternatively use the usual M3U link. To do so, click on the options button, 
in the right bottom corner and select M3U URL instead. So let's select and here you just have to enter your M3U link and click on sign in. And that's how you set up XCAP TV app on your Fire Stick. If the video was helpful, make sure to click on the like button so more people would see it as well. And see you next time. Bye bye.